So now auto HDR from Windows 11 is working and it's flawless. I'm going to show you a list of games that I tried so far and it is absolutely perfect. No black level rays, 7 to 800 nits highlights, perfect colors, so no washed out colors. I have no idea what happened. So I need you to test uh, this HDR10 from Windows and tell me if it's just me. Like, it, if it, was it something that I did? If, if that's the case, then I have to figure out what it was so I can tell everybody this is just perfect. Like, with the auto HDR from Windows working like this in supported games only, there is no reason to try that HLG trick and get incorrect colors. No reason. This is absolutely perfect, but I've never seen this before. This game, you've seen this game on my channel a lot because this game for me is like the benchmark. Every time I upgrade my PC or do anything, this game showed me the difference. Even if it's a very small difference, like a RAM upgrade or anything. I mean, I, I changed the chassis of my PC and this game changes. So I know for sure, 100% did, that auto HDR on this game was not working. It was a mess, a mess. It was bright everywhere and now it's just perfect. And it's working with HGIG too. So HGIG is, is making a big difference, especially at night. It's making all the light sources pop and it just looks fantastic. The colors on auto, so color gamut auto, 55, warm 50. It's just perfect. Let me show you a list of games that I have right now working. So I have these are these are perfect perfect HDR games right now. Spider-Man. Let's take a look at Spider-Man. It is just amazing. So all these games are working perfect. Not perfect. There are some games that I have to do some adjustments on the black level. But Witcher 3, absolutely perfect. Watch Dogs 2, which is the one I was showing you, absolutely perfect. Sleeping Dogs, amazing, just perfection. Spider-Man, perfection. Let me show you Spider-Man. It's just, what happened? I don't understand. I really, really don't understand. I tested Spider-Man the day one. Tested, you see, Auto HDR is on, your game is being enhanced. I tested that before, day one. It was a mess. It was as bad as the HDR from the game. Well, maybe not as bad because <laughs> the HDR from the game is so broken that I just don't don't understand how is that so broken. But I tested this before. I mean, I, I've been testing every day all the options. I don't know what happened. This is just amazing. Look at that. Just let's let's change from real quick. And this is without any black level adjustment, nothing. Let's test real quick here. Tom mapping on and off. All right now. I don't know if you can see any difference in the video. Yeah, it's too small. So let's just look at the game. This is just what happened. Don't, don't know. I don't understand. Everything is popping. Let's go to to the main, uh, you know, to this area where we have a lot of signs. Everything is popping. There's no black level rays. Perfect colors, I don't understand. Really, really don't understand what happened here. Look at this. It's perfect. It's perfect, you have the black levels are perfect you still have perfect blacks everything is popping look at this look at that I was measuring for example I was measuring these light sources five over 500 nits and that's because we have a lot of them on the screen so it's super bright but individual light sources like uh, like this for example if I just measure this I'm getting 700 nits on all these light sources unless there's a lot of lights on the screen at the same time because you know this OLED has its uh, its limitations but it's 
but it's virtually perfect HDR. Perfect. The Witcher 3, perfect HDR. Like, no complaints. It's just beautiful. I really don't, don't know what happened. So, I'm trying to figure that out, but if you test it and tell me, hey, <laughs> same here, it's just perfect now. Well, then just Windows, just fix the, their, their game. Just fix it. So, Sleeping Dogs, let's take a look at this game. Just, <laughs> this was, actually, this was the first game I opened. So you see, Auto HDR is on. I mean, I've seen this before. It's not because it's now popping on the screen. I've seen that before. And it was not working. Not working. So, yeah, I am very happy. <laughs> but I, I, I cannot be excited because I cannot tell you how to get this result. That's why I want you to try it and tell me if it was, there was a Windows update recently, but I don't know if it was that, I don't know uh, if it's just me, something I did. If it's something I did, I will figure it out and, and tell you. So you can get the same result. But this is just amazing and I don't know, I don't know what happened. So look at that light source is just popping amazing just everything everything just working perfect i don't understand so we go to the and i can i can drive so close to the screen so you look at all the light sources are as bright as this tv get so bright i was measuring over <laughs> you know 800 nits because you know i measure with that cell phone app but it's not accurate and sometimes it can even measure eight to nine hundred, almost nine hundred nits, and I know that's not possible. But I know, I know. It, it's just a, a reference. I use that as a reference of point of comparison, you know, point of comparison. And I know just by looking at it, this is as bright as this TV get, and there's no black level rays. The colors are perfect. It's just amazing, just amazing. So, yeah, let me see what other game I tried it, and I was like, there are some games that have issues. Some games have issues, um, like for example, uh, Batman Arkham Knight. The black level is race. So what I have to do, so let me show you. These are perfect. Watch Dogs 2, Witcher 3, absolutely perfect, beautiful. I'm not going to open it because it, it takes a little bit to open because I have I I have not the game I not I don't have it on an SSD I have it on on my HD drive so Code Vein yeah Code Vein was perfect too I didn't have to adjust anything which is perfect Shadow of War is an HDR game that was looking so broken that dynamic tone mapping on was necessary. And the results were not spectacular. It was looking bad. Now HGIG and it's working perfect. That one also I have it on the drive, so it takes me long to open it. Uh, so Dark Souls 3, for example, the black level was raised. I needed to adjust the black level. Uh, and yeah, so it's not perfect, but after doing that, it is perfect. Uh, Watch Dogs 1, the same. Reduce the black level of the game almost to zero, I think, and then it looks perfect. Batman Arkham Knight, let me show you, it's the same, same story. The black level is raised, but it's not washed out, it's not raised on a washed out weight. Uh, it is raised, let me show you. I have a big game, so. Yeah, so sometimes, so on these games, I have to lower the black level. So you go to the brightness a slider on this on the game, and just reduce that. But then it's perfect. It's perfect. So you know, here's the thing. I've been learning. I mean, all this time with the TV, you know, I've been going crazy with the settings and trying and trying and trying. And I've been learning. I know how to. 
set up the HDR on any game and make it look good because I know what I'm looking for. I am looking for perfect OLED black. Uh, the colors just looking, you know, good, not washed out. I'm looking for peak brightness, seven to eight hundred nits, and I use that cell phone app and my eyes to, you know, just to figure it out if it's bright. So you see, for example, the Batman's face here is is too much. It's, that black level is raised. It's not supposed to look like that. But once you enter the game, so once you once I enter my save file, I am able to to adjust that. And that's why you see now it is good. So what I do is I go to uh, game options and I lower the brightness uh, a lot actually. And then it's perfect. It's perfect because I measure the highlights. So I'm getting perfect all the blacks, perfect colors, and I measure the highlights and there are seven to eight hundred nits. That's what you're looking for. You see no clipping uh, with HGIG and it's just perfect. Like this is absolutely perfect. So I have to the controller sometimes in this game I have to do some some work around to make it to make it work. Let's see how can I get rid of this? Okay. So here we have perfect blacks. Like you see everything on the darkness and all those light sources are popping super hard. Like I see a lot of shimmering right now. I have to you know, adjust the settings. But it is perfect. Like all those light sources are super bright and it's just perfect. You look at this, everything is black, but you can see all the details or all the shadow detail. And all those bright spots are super bright. It is virtually perfect after adjusting that black level. So yeah, Fortnite also, perfect. I tried Fortnite <laughs> without HDR, it was a mess, a mess, just bright everywhere. And now it's just working perfect. Metro, also, uh, yeah, so let me know, try it out. Try it out and tell me if it's just me. I don't know what I did. If I go to the settings on the on the game bar, there's nothing, nothing special. So you go here on the game bar, you press Windows G, and on the game bar, you go to settings, uh, gaming features, HDR, use auto HDR with supported games. That's it. And even this adjust HDR intensity is not working for me. So that's not working, it's grayed out. And I know this is supposed to work. I was doing my research uh, yesterday trying to figure out how to make that work if you know let me know but even without that it's it's working so remember I don't know if you've been following me for a while I discover how to change the default profile that Windows assigned to this TV which is a 1500 nits profile I discovered how to change that to 800 by using the CRU app. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I can I can tell you the video, so you can watch that video and learn how to do that. So that is very important for Auto HDR because Windows needs to know that this display is 800 nits and not 1500. So that's that's very important for that Auto HDR to work well. But aside from that, I haven't done anything different yet. So, yeah. <laughs> I want to be excited, but I don't have a solution for you. It's just working perfect for me right now. And it is awesome. <laughs> perfect. So let me know if, you know, test it yourself and let me know. If it's just me or if Windows just fixed their HDR. So, yeah. Let me know.